We use it for almost everything we do. To cook, wash our hands and clothes, flush and shower. And the more we use, the more we pay. We don't do a whole lot, so it's not like I'm, you know, running the water for any particular reason. Our dogs are little. Everything is pretty compact, so I know that we we try to conserve where we can. In the summer of 2020, Shannon and her sister rented this property in Bethesda. I think that it was like 720 square feet. Very small, super cute. With little upkeep and no pool, it was a perfect way to keep their utility bills low while they saved money to buy a new house. But a couple of months later, their small rental produced a big problem. A $1,000 water bill, about 10 times their usual bill. I was shocked and I showed my sister and I was like, you know what, this, this is outrageous and it has to be an error because there's just no way. Their landlord sent a plumber to inspect the property for leaks, but they say he didn't find any. So Shannon called the utility company, WSSC, and she says the company told her the water meter was recently replaced. And I was like, okay, well, what is my option? And she said, you can open a dispute. So I opened a dispute. Shannon says months went by with no resolution. Time was ticking because her lease was almost up. So I was like, okay, well, let me try and escalate this. Let me, there's a step beyond this opening this dispute. You can ask for a hearing. So I submit a hearing request. But even that, according to Shannon, went nowhere, leaving her no choice but to pay that high water bill. But her frustration was boiling over, so she turned to NBC4 Response to see if we could get an answer. We did. In a statement, WSSC told us, upon learning of Miss Willis's inquiry, we identified our error, made the correction, and worked to provide her the refund she was entitled to receive. The company went on to say that they determined that her meter leak was identified but went unaddressed by staff and they are working to address the issue. NBC4 is the reason why I got this money back. If you need to dispute a water bill, first call the company, of course, and ask about their billing dispute process. Most have an appeal, challenge, or review process in place. But each utility company is a little different. WSSC has two options, the Dispute Resolving Board for unpaid charges and a refund hearing to dispute paid charges. With DC Water, you have 30 calendar days after the bill to notify them in writing the reason why the bill is believed to be incorrect. And with Fairfax Water, you can initiate a billing review by calling customer service. And if you're still not getting any answers from the utility company, file a complaint with the state. In Maryland, you can file through the Consumer Affairs Division. Virginia, the Division of Public Utility Regulation. It investigates and reviews utility actions for compliance. While in D.C., the Office of Consumer Services assists residents with any problems they may have with the utility company. And if you can't pay your water bill, even if it's correct, most water companies do offer payment programs and other options to help you. And so instead of ignoring the bill, they encourage you to reach out to them immediately. I'm Susan Hogan, News 4.